Greg Lucif Online Tennis Instruction and following up on a recent video I did on hand signals and uh, communicating in doubles and calling different plays, we talked about you know directing the serve and we addressed the issue sometimes players don't have the ability to do this so I did recommend that you go out and work on being able to direct the serve and you know I'm taking two different concepts to learn from two coaches, uh, one from Dave Bryant and the other one from Nic Nicholas Guizar. So, the one I learned from Dave Bryan was to actually start into the, in this racket drop position and really isolate the movement up to contact and through contact. So in this particular serve, I want to try to serve it to the backhand on the ad side. Right, so by, by shortening the swing, it makes it a lot easier for me to get the feel for this. So from here, I want to just kind of work, work on hitting the serve towards the backhand. Now I'm going to combine it with the drill that I learned from Nicholas Gizar, where you're going to take your, your shoulder and actually have your shoulder go in the direction of your target. Now be careful when you do this, you don't want the left shoulder to open up, right? So you want to still try to be a little bit sideways where the right shoulder is going towards the target, but I'm not losing this left side. So what you would do is start in this, in this modified position and just try to hit that, that target over and over. So I'm staying sideways, shoulder to target from a modified abbreviated position. So you would do this over and over, and then once you have success with that, you would then introduce it and, and, and do the full serve. So hit that a few times. Now I'll try to do the full serve so that I've first started by isolating the movement, really shortening it. Then I'll move to the next target. And now I'm going to serve down the T to the forehand here. And you see I have those lanes, so I have a nice big target to begin with. So I start in this modified position. I think of the right shoulder going towards the target. And I want to keep doing this. And remember, I want to make sure I don't open up the left side. I'll do this over and over. So now I've learned the, the swing path needed, and also I'm understanding where my strings are, then I'm going to start to do with the full service motion. And I'll start to do this, and you couple, practice it a couple of times until you're able to hit that consistently. And you can do the same thing moving over to the do side. So once again, you, know, you want to start in your... Uh, this, this modified position, think of your right shoulder going out towards the target while not, not opening the left shoulder. You would do this over and over. Whoops, I was a miss it. Then once you feel comfortable with that and you having success hitting that direction, then you would go into the full serve. All right, and then you would practice that over and over, and then you would then move it over to the deuce side. Once again, starting this position here, Excuse me, you'd move over to the, the forehand on the deuce side, a lot wide. And once you can do that consistently, then you would try it with the full service motion. And we'll see one more. All right, so I went through all four targets, but you may, may find yourself just working on hitting one target in your practice. But I just went through it just to kind of show you how you would progress. And I always like to progress as a right hand player from the uh, wide serve on the ad side, all moving, working my way um, all the way over to the wide serve to the deuce side. For lefties, you would switch it. You would start on the wide serve on the deuce court and then move over and finish on the wide serve to the ad court. But take your time with this. You know, if you, if, if you have to spend a practice or two just work in one target, start like that and then try to work on to the move on to the next target. Greg now offers OTI doubles clinics several times per year in locations such as Florida, California and New Jersey. To find out the next clinic date, simply click the link inside this video right now.